everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 1st of june 2022 let's start which of the following is the focus country of the 17th mumbai international film festival so the 17th edition of mumbai international film festival for documentary short fiction and animation films is being held from 29th of may to 4th of june 2022 at the films division complex in mumbai so bangladesh is the country of focus at this festival so it will include the documentaries short stories and animation films from around the world okay now let's see some of the important international current affairs russia and china have banned the united nations security council statement on the humanitarian crisis of which country So China and Russia made a statement to the United Nations Security Council expressing the concern over the May 27, 2022 violence that was held in the country Myanmar and they expressed their concern about the humanitarian situation and limited progress on implementing a regional plan to restore peace in the conflict torn Southeast Asian nations so the council was briefed on efforts to resolve the crisis in the country since the military coup on 1st of february 2021 right so here correct answer would be myanmar next question lyman region that was recently making news is located in which country so recently on 28th of may 2022 russia took the city of eastern ukraine under full control of russian and russian backed forces in the lyman region so this region belong to the country ukraine which country test fired the zircon hypersonic cruise missile so russian forces announced the latest successful test of the zircon hypersonic cruise missile on 28th of may 2022 as moscow intensifies its invasion of ukraine so this missile was fired from an admiral frigate and then it successfully hit a target which was 1000 km away in the white sea in the arctic okay which country has recently confirmed the seizure of two greek oil tankers in the persian gulf so iran's paramilitary revolutionary guard seized two greek oil tankers in the persian gulf recently on 27th of may so athens assisted the us in seizing an iranian oil tanker over alleged sanctions violations in the mediterranean sea right indian navy participated in exercise bongo sagar along with which countries navy so recently indian navy has participated in this exercise along with the country bangladesh and don't forget that indian navy has also recently undertook the corpat exercise with the same country that means with Bangladesh right next question INS Gomti which was recently decommissioned after 34 years of service to the Indian armed forces was a dash so INS Gomti which is a guided missile frigate was decommissioned at sunset on 28th of May 2022 at the naval dockyard in Mumbai after providing 34 years of its service 
to the Indian Navy. So INS Gomti takes its name from the vibrant river Gomti and was commissioned on 16th of April in the year 1988 by Defence Minister K.C. Pant at Mezugon Dockyard Shipbuilders Limited in Bombay. Okay. Now let's see some of the important current affairs regarding Indian Navy. Indian Navy held the joint surveillance and patrolling operations with which country at the island of La Reunion. So Indian Navy had held these patrolling operations with the country France at their island La Reunion. Which company delivered the scorpion glass submarine called INS Vakshir to the Indian Navy? This company is Mazagon Dock Shipbuilders Limited. And under this project, six submarines are to be delivered to the Indian Navy. The names are quite important. First is Kalwari. Then second is Khanderi. After that, third is Kalanj. Fourth one is INS Vela. Fifth is INS Vagir, which is still under its sea trial. And sixth one is INS Bakshir. Okay. What is the name of the Indian Navy's indigenous stealth destroyer whose maiden sea trials was conducted recently? This is Murmuga. What is Sandhayak, which was recently launched by the Indian Navy? So Sandhayak is basically a survey vessel. When is the Indian Navy Day celebrated every year? We celebrate the Indian Navy Day on 4th of December. Which country has gifted the largest and the most advanced warship called Tugril to the Pakistan Navy? So few days back, the country China has gifted Tugril, which is an advanced warship to the Pakistan Navy. Fine. Now don't forget that INS Valsura has recently been awarded the President's Color Award by our President Ramnath Kovind. So don't forget that this is INS Valsura. Next question. A 16 feet tall bronze statue of Dravidian legend and five time Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, late M. Karuna Nidhi, was unveiled at Dash. So, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu unveiled this tall bronze statue, which is standing on a 14 feet high pedestal of Dravidian legend and five time Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, late M. Karuna Nidhi, in Chennai on 28th of May 2022. Okay. Now let's see some of the important things that have been presently inaugurated. In which state the Prime Minister recently inaugurated Nano Urea Liquid Plant. So recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the Nano Urea Liquid Plant manufactured at IFCO Kalol in Gujarat. And also he addressed the leaders of various cooperative institutions on Sahakar Se Samriddhi at Mahatma Mandir in Gandhinagar. So this plant cost around approximately 175 crore rupees will provide the means to help the farmers increasing their productivity and also increase their income. So this plant will produce around 1.3 lakh bottles of 500 ml capacity per day. Okay. Next question. President Ram Nath Kovind inaugurated Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Avenue in which country? So this avenue has recently been inaugurated in Jamaica by our president. National Cyber Forensic Laboratory has been inaugurated in which city? So recently this laboratory has been inaugurated in Hyderabad. Rural Tribal Technical Training Project was inaugurated from which place? Answer is Bhopal from Madhya Pradesh. India's first Amrit Sarovar has been inaugurated in which state? So India's first Amrit Sarovar has been completed in Rampur's Gram Panchayat Patwai in the state of Uttar Pradesh. So 75 ponds in Rampur were selected to be developed as Amrit Sarovar as a part of Azadika Amrit Mahotsav. So your correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. India's first green field grain based ethanol plant has been inaugurated in which state or the union territory. So the first green field grain based ethanol plant of India has recently been inaugurated in the state of Bihar. Next question. 
वर्ल्ड हंगर डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन विच डेट सो द वर्ल्ड हंगर डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ मे विद द एम ऑफ रेजिंग अवेयरनेस अबाउट दोज पीपल हु आर स्टार्विंग अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड ऑल्सो टू सपोर्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ पीपल ओके सो लेट्स इज सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट डेज इन थीम्स विच इंडियन स्टेट हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड बाय द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर वर्ल्ड नो टोबैको डे अवार्ड ट्वेंटी सो रिकग्नाइजिंग इट्स एफर्ट्स to control the tobacco consumption the world health organization has selected the state jharkhand for the world no tobacco day award 2022 so jharkhand's national tobacco control program nodal officer lalit ranjan pathak said that the state tobacco control cell of the health department would receive this award on the occasion of world no tobacco day in new delhi and we celebrate this day on 31st of may international action day for women's health is observed every year since 1987 on which date so international action day for women's health has been observed every year on 28th of may since 1987 which is the first country to introduce 21 day quarantine for monkeypox patient this country is belgium now this is a different type of question here you have to match the correct pair days have been given and you have to identify whether the theme is correct for this day or not so world tuberculosis day this day is observed on 24th of march and for the year 2022 the theme was invest to end tb save lives this is absolutely correct world aids day and inequalities and aids actually world aids day is observed on 1st of december and talking about 2022 this day has not yet come so and inequalities and aids this was the theme for the year 2021 so this pair is not right world cancer day it is observed on 4th of february and theme that is given is close the care gap which is absolutely right this is the theme for the year 2022 then world malaria day is observed on 25th of april and theme given is harness innovation to reduce the malaria disease burden and save lives yes it is also correct so correct answer would be 1 3 and 4 because 2 is not right okay next question which institute has developed a unique detector called fake buster so iit roper punjab along with the australia based monash university has developed a unique detector called as fake buster to detect the fraudsters participating in a virtual conference without anyone's knowledge and it can also detect manipulated faces on the social media to defame or make fun of someone fine now coming to the question slide which of the following applications has been developed by center for development of telematics that is c dot to have secure communications for the government employees so here correct answer is sambad the name of that particular application is sambad what is the rank of india in the world economic forum travel and tourism development index in the year 2022 so the rank of india in this index is 54 and which were the top 5 countries first was japan second was usa third was spain fourth is france and the fifth country is germany okay india's first war game research and development center is announced to be set up in which city so india's first war game research and development center is to be set up in new delhi the national green tribunal has asked which state's town planning department to hold the draft development plan so recently ngt has asked the himachal pradesh to put a hold in its draft development plan which institution led the group that has developed the india's first 5g test bed so this has been developed by iit madras and this will basically enable the startups and indigenous players to test their products locally so basically it will decrease the dependence on facilities abroad right next question where is the nadi 3 asian sangam river conference held so this two day nadi 3 asian sangam river conference was held in guwahati from 28 to 29th of may 2022 so nadi which means river is an initiative to clarify and activate 
the collective vision of the sub regional sub regional cooperation in the bay of bengal region along with southeast asia so it recognizes the region south of the himalayas as a contiguous confluence of the river valleys from the ganga and the brahmaputra to the mekong fine what is nadi term stands for it is natural alliance in development and interdependence what is this natural alliance in development and interdependence okay let's see some of the important venue and the conferences what was the venue of the national women legislators conference in may 2022 so the national women legislators conference was organized in thiruvananthapuram recently and the participants demanded immediate steps to pass the long pending women's reservation bill which seeks 33% reservation for the women in lok sabha and in the state assemblies international conference on new technologies and innovations in the rural roads was organized in which city so this conference was recently held in new delhi turning the tide unlearning helplessness is the motto of which of the following international conferences so this was the motto for munich security conference okay which is the venue of the first incredible india international cruise conference that was held in 2022 so venue for this conference was mumbai which country is the host of the 15th session of the conference of parties to the unccd so the host of cop15 was cote de ivor what is unccd united nations convention to combat desertification okay next question who among the following won the international panorama golden award so tirupati based writer k v raghupati has been selected for the international panorama golden award by white falcon publishing for his book the mountain is calling that was published in the year 2019 so he is an english professor who retired from the central university of tamil nadu and he has been writing since 1980s okay let's see some of the important awards who is the producer of the film all that breathes that won the 2022 loyal door means golden eye for best documentary at the 75th cannes film festival on 28th of may 2022 so producer of this film is shonak sen So this movie is about the two brothers from Delhi, Nadim and Saad, who amidst the deteriorating air and social fabric of the city, dedicate their lives to saving the migratory black kites that are killing the mankind in unimaginable ways. So his win is India's second win at the Cannes in just two years. Okay. Which racing driver won the Spanish Grand Prix title in 2022? So this title has been won by the Max Verstappen. Which state has won the Hockey India Senior Women's National Championship 2022? So the winner for this championship was the state Odisha. Then Odisha was followed by Karnataka at second place. Third was Jharkhand and fourth was Haryana. Which country won the Uber Cup title in 2022? So Uber Cup was won by south korea by defeating the country china while if we talk about the thomas cup then winner was india and it has defeated the country indonesia which tennis player won the italian open 2022 women single title so italian open has been won by iga swiatek in the women single category while if we talk about the men single in this winner was novak djokovic and he is from the country serbia right next question in which city did the union home and cooperation minister lay the foundation stone of the new international sports complex so union home and cooperation minister amit shah laid the foundation stone of new international sports complex at naranpura area of ahmedabad city which will be constructed at a cost of 631.77 crore rupees Let's see some of the important questions. Which is the first major metropolitan city in India 
to prepare a detailed register of biodiversity this city is kolkata which city launched the artificial intelligent based intelligent solutions for road safety through technology and engineering that is i raste project i raste project belong to the state nagaland which city is the host of asia pacific economic cooperation trade ministers meeting in 2022 answer is bangkok which city is the host of international migration review forum 2022 so the city that hosted this review forum is new york Which is the first Indian city to operate an organic waste powered EV charging station? This is the city Mumbai. Okay. Next question: Which edition of the annual Cannes Film Festival is being held in Cannes, France, on seventeenth to twenty eighth of May, twenty twenty two? So this was the seventy fifth annual Cannes Film Festival that was held in Cannes, France. In this, best actor declared was. song kang ho for broker then best actress was sar amir ibrahimi for holy spider best director was park chan wook for decision to leave okay so these three categories are very very important let's see some of the important festivals that can be asked in your exams as a static gk which country is the first ever official country of honor at the march du film of cannes film festival so this is a very obvious answer the first ever official country of honor at this event was our country india in which indian state is the motsu festival famous so this is the festival from nagaland vamana avatar of vishnu is associated with which festival it is related to the onam festival and one of the important features of onam festival is vallam kali or you can say snake boat race in which state of india is the khajuraho dance festival celebrated as the name suggest itself khajuraho is related to the state of madhya pradesh sare gul farosha is a secular festival organized in which state or union territory answer is delhi fine now let us start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minuzat Sana signing off.